Hey everyone, so this is the last of the four videos I've built regarding how to build a loop workflow using SharePoint 2010. In this video, we're going to go through more of a real world scenario where a requester, I mean, a requester one is put in a new contract for the legal department uh, and then there's a lot of conversations going back and forth. Um, and the reason for that is to really test the loop workflow that you've built using SharePoint 2010. So once again, I've logged in as requester one um, and I'm going to put in a um, new contract. Uh, the action required is please take a look at my new contract. Okay, so just, let's just put that and I'm going to purposefully not put a attachment right now. I'm going to just go ahead and hit submit. So there will be two emails going out. One is to the administrator of the legal department whose role right now is being played by me. And I get an email saying that greetings Daniel, a new contract has been submitted by request one and is waiting to be reviewed and then so on and so forth. Um, also the requester gets an email stating that your contract your contract has been submitted and here's the whole body of the email. So let me, uh, playing the role of the legal administrator, log into the site and put in my comments over there. So I have now logged into the site and I've logged in as myself, playing the role of the legal department, legal administrator department. Um, so let me go ahead and look at the contract. So I'm going to say the contract document is missing. I'm going to hit the um, current status. I'm going to change it to pending additional information from requester. And I'm going to hit submit. So there's a couple of things that are going on right now over here. Um, and one of them is the change in the workflow. And we're actually now utilizing the loop workflow. So let's take a look at that. And the workflow as I'm looking over here, the first step already ran when the requester went ahead and filled the form. The current status changed to request submitted. Uh, the email, a copy of the email was sent to the requester. A copy of the email was sent to me. Um, and then there was an update in the item. This is the first loop step that I've built, and in this section, um, we've actually said that the requester didn't submit the contract, so I, as the administrator, went ahead, went ahead and just put in a comment, and then I also changed the status to pending additional information, and now these are the, this is where the contract sits. So let's go back. Let's also confirm that the requester did get an email and that the email says contract has been returned for more information. The contract which you submitted on May 25th has been returned by Daniel for further information. Um, so now let me, uh, me as in the requester one, let me log in. So I'm going to log in. I see my contract over there. Uh, let me edit and I see the first statement I put in the administrator put in his statement I'm gonna say oops sorry about that here is the contract let me now go ahead and put the contract over there and go ahead and hit submit and now you see me playing the role as the office administrator, I get an email saying the requester, requester one, has resubmitted the contract. So me playing the role of the uh, legal administrator, I'm going to log into the site and take a look at that contract. So you go to contract requests. Okay, see everything there, but I'm gonna just to make sure that the loop works, I'm gonna say this 
is the wrong contract, please submit the correct one. And change the current status back to pending additional information from requester. And I hit submit. So after I went ahead and submitted that form, let me go ahead and I see that the requester has gotten another email saying that the contract you submitted has been returned by Daniel for further information. Um, so let me now log in again as the requester. edit again and I see all the conversations that are going on over here and I'm gonna say I am so so sorry attached as the correct and completed contract let me go ahead and now put in the second correct contract let me hit submit so here's the second email second email which is received by the legal administrative department saying the request the request to one has resubmitted the contract so now I am going to log in as the legal administrator the list see all the conversations going on and this time I'll say the contract looks good sending it to attorney 4 so now let me change the status to send to attorney I'm also going to select attorney 4 and hit OK I'm going to hit submit Let's pause over here for a minute and look at the actual workflow that's running. Um, the entire loop process which was going on was actually over here. That was between the administrative department and the requester. Um, when the admin would actually send the email or the contract back to the requester, this was the condition and the actions that were running. When the requester actually sent it back, this was the action and the conditions that were running. Um, the next thing we did was we actually went ahead and sent it to the attorney and so this was the step that ran. So now let me go ahead and log in as attorney 4. Alright, so now the attorney 4 gets an email that a contract has been submitted by request that one has been assigned to you. Um, and so that's the email right here. Um, so now the attorney for actually logs in. So let me just sign in as attorney for. And then what attorney for does is basically just change um, the status to attorney reviewing in process. So let's pause over there for a minute and let's go back into the SharePoint designer. Previously was sent to attorney, now it is in reviewing by attorney. And so basically this was the uh, step and these were the conditions and that action that, that ran over there. So let's assume that the attorney has gone through some reviewing process, um, sees a mistake, and this is what the attorney is going to do. It's going to say that contract information is inadequate please provide more info and the current status is actually going to change to pending additional information from the requester and I'm going to hit submit so let me now log into Outlook Web Access as requester, um, requester 1 because the requester 1 will get an email now
and here you go. Um, that's the email. It says the contract submitted by you on May 25th is currently assigned to attorney named attorney four. Attorney four has returned the contract back to you for for, for more information. So that's an email which basically says that hey, the uh, attorney four has looked at your contract and here's there's an info there's something missing. Take a look at it. So now the request actually logs into the site. says I know what I know what the problem is um, the reason was because blah 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 and I'm gonna hit submit number 24 let me just go ahead and click on these to make sure we read them once the requester went ahead and made the change or answered that question, a 24 will get another email. And here's the email saying that the request has returned the contract. The contract you sent to requester one has been returned. Um, one more time, just to make sure. Um, the, the attorney will send the contract back to the requester. So let me first log in as attorney four. Get in the attorney view, saying um, does not make sense. Please provide documentation. And I'm going to send it back to the requester. Okay. So let's log in as requester just to see that, that me being as a requester will get the email. Right, so the requester one got the email, um, pretty much the same thing, and the action required says does not make sense. Please provide documentation. So now let me log in. Me being the requester one has to provide more documentation. And as a requester, I'm going to say I am so so sorry for this issue attached is the, the documentation go on ahead click over here browse contract and I'm going ahead and hit submit so I'm going to pause over here for a minute um, and actually take a look at the workflow so this step was sent to the attorney in this step the attorney started reviewing the contract and in the next step is where actually the nico the um, contract was returned back to the requester and this is where the the loop section happened when the uh, in, in the first section over here with the conditions and the actions this is when the attorney actually returned the contract back to the requester um, and this section over here is where the requester would return the contract back to the attorney. So in the next following video, we're going to continue uh, the workflow over here in the real world scenario where the attorney will actually start the negotiation.